okay, let me give an example. If I go to the supermarket and pick up an apple, and it's the only apple I've ever eaten, can I really say if it's a good apple or a bad apple? We do agree that during the interview with Andrew Tate and the PBD broadcast, he did make mention of certain statements which are rather controversial, like this statement of testing women, giving the examples of testing apples in order to know which one is testing great. Actually, this statement from our brother Andrew Tate is very disturbing. We are going to correct the statement in this video, but as we do that, remember that he is just new in Islam, and it is not the first time that somebody coming new to Islam is making mention of certain ideas like this. Because it has happened during the time of the Prophet wasallam, when the people asked him to provide them with a tree where they can hang their swords, which was what they saw from those who were worshipping idols. And the Prophet said, you have repeated just the very thing that happened to Musa when Musa took his people away from Fir'aun out of uh, Egypt. On their way, they saw people worshipping idols and they asked Musa to provide them with idols like those people have so that they can worship. And that is the case with people who just came into the religion and they are not yet very strong in it. So we classify this very mistake under the, the ones we have mentioned. So nobody should take it out on him like maybe he is not Muslim or that he is pretending. He is purely Muslim and the, the mistake is purely normal. You need to sleep with, not sleep with, but date lots of women when you're younger, so you have choices. Which, def, what, define the two. Yeah. Which is more important, date or sleep, in your eyes? I feel like you don't really, I, I think that sleeping with a woman, you learn more about them, it's a closer relationship. So I'd say probably sleep with X amount, not crazy amounts, but I would say that, okay, let me give an example. If I go to the supermarket and pick up an apple, and it's the only apple I've ever eaten, can I really say if it's a good apple or a bad apple? It's the only apple I've ever tasted. It might be sour, it might be terrible, I don't know. Whereas if I try 10 apples, I can tell the differences between apples. I say, what's a good apple, what's a bad apple? I think you need that degree of experience because sometimes you'll be with a woman and go, yeah, she's great, but if you're not experienced enough, you realize she really isn't all that great and she actually treats you like a dickhead. Whereas if you've been with enough women, you can always reference back to that girl who actually was... This statement is actually disturbing because let's look at it from the normal point of view. If we say a woman is just like an apple in the supermarket, then this is what we are talking about. You are referring to your sister. Would you agree that your sister be an apple and other people will test maybe 10 or 5 men before they actually know if she is good for them to marry? It's your daughter. She's also a woman. It's your mother. She's a woman. It's your aunt. It's your grandmother. Every woman around you. Should this happen to them? that people will come around and test them and go because they did not test very well. This is so disturbing. It cannot, life cannot be like that. And it's very bad to see a woman like that. A woman is more precious than that. And if we consider that women should ask for the same thing also, that they need to test men to know which one is the best for them in, this, in that very sense, it's going to be so problematic because a woman going for 10 men, 20 men, to know which one is the best for her is a big problem for her, health-wise, religious-wise, and even from the progeny, from the progeny side. Because a woman is the one that takes in pregnancy. After 20 men, which one will be the father of a child if she happens to get pregnant? So this statement is actually problematic. Then when we go back to Islam, because our brother Andrew now is a Muslim, and he has to say things according to the teachings of Islam. And Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَةً وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا And do not near adultery. It's truly a shameful deed and an evil way. And to the very importance of this in Islam, Islam as a whole came to protect five things called the Darurat Khamsa. And amongst them is the Nasl, or the family progeny. And the family progeny will be totally destroyed if we follow this type of thinking, that women should be like apples and we should test so many of them to know which of them is the best. So this idea is, has nothing to do with Islam at all. And in a hadith, a young man came to the Prophet and told him, may you permit me so that I can commit zina? And the Prophet asked him, 
Will you be happy if it is done to your mother? He said, no. Will you be happy if it's done to your sister or your daughter? He said, no. And that is how the young man understood the effect of what he was trying to do. Because no normal human being will ever accept for their close relatives to be treated in this manner. So if you don't want your close relatives to be treated in this manner, then you should not think about doing it to others. And Allah gave so much great importance in protecting this aspect of life. That is why he made the penalty for those who adulterate to be a death penalty by stoning. And for those who make zina to be 100 strokes for each of them. Hoping that this will go a long way to correct our brother Andrew Tate if he ever finds this video. That is all we had for you today. And please do not go away without subscribing. Turn on the notification button. Hit the thumbs up button and share the video. May Allah bless you as you do so. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.